Hi, I'm Dennis Chambers. I've been playing with uh, Carlos Santana for the last nine, maybe going on 10 years now. I've been playing professionally for 48 years. Uh, I started out, uh, uh, my very first recording was on a gospel record. I can't remember the artist's name, but the, uh, the song was called, called God, gave me a song that the angels could not sing, which is a big hit all over the country. Uh, I've been very fortunate to, uh, to be able to play with people and also, uh, I would just play with people that I, I grew up listening to. You know, for instance, like when I was 13, 14 years old, uh, I was called out by James Brown to play with him. And, and everybody, my, basically my whole career has been based upon playing with people that I grew up listening to, such as the Brecker Brothers, uh, uh, Steely Dan, uh, Parliament Funkadelic, uh, Bootsy Collins, uh, Thomas Dolby, Sly Stone, and the list goes on and on and on. I don't want to mention a lot of them, but it's a long list. Um, I was playing with John, John McLaughlin's band, and uh, Carlos saw me play with him and asked for me to join his band. Uh, I wasn't able to join it because he needed someone the very next day or that week. And I was already on tour with, with McLaughlin, so I, wasn't, you know, I couldn't do it. And then I get a call later, you know, he wanted me to do the Shaman record. And then that's when I found out I was the drummer for the band when I did the Shaman record. Although I was called to do the recording, but then I found out I'm the drummer for the band while I was doing the recording. And the rest is history, and it's, and it's been, you know, like a one big roller coaster ride uh, with Carlos. Um, I mean, he's a really unbelievable person, a great human being uh, who's very giving, and uh, um, uh, he's very connected to, to what, what goes on around him. He's a very hands, hands on person. I have to say this because, you know, a lot of people, they, they, they run bands or they're the leader of bands, but they're not the guy who leads the bands, you know, as far as like being a musical director. He's a very hands-on guy with his band. You know, he takes full responsibility for whatever you hear and whatever you see that goes down with the band. He's there through the whole rehearsals, uh, which is uh, kind of unbelievable. You know, you play with somebody, uh, uh, other names that I can't mention, and they're not even there at soundcheck, and he's there at soundcheck. You know, and he's running it, you know, full hands running it 24 seven. And um, so whatever you hear, what goes on with us, you know, it's 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 all him. And he's leading us through through the things and also giving us uh, a headway or, or lead way to actually to contribute, you know, some things that that you feel and what you hear.